apologize for media statement jointly issued by YB Taiping, uh, YB Ngakoming, YB uh, Batu Gajah, V uh, Sivakuma and uh, myself, uh, Nyai Kuham, bagi uh, Ali Parlimen Beras. Uh, asking the speaker uh, to allow motions concerning 1MDB and also questions concerning 1MDB uh, to be raised in Parliament. But instead of appreciating our request, uh, the speaker sent us a letter uh, to say that that, uh, and we say that if you cannot do that, because the very purpose of Parliament is to check on the executive. Now, billions, tens of billions of money have been abused by the executive. If we cannot raise it in Parliament, where do we raise it? Definitely not Kopitiam to get the answer. So it is our duty, the only place where the MP are higher then the Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister is in Parliament because we represent the people and the people are higher than the Executive. And it's only in Parliament that we can make sure the Executive answer to us. And But if for whatever reason, I suspect there is pressure from the Executive on the Speaker not to allow motions and questions on 1MDB to raise we say that if you cannot then perform your duty for whatever reason, it is most honourable that you resign. And I'll call on him to resign. In fact, it's a common practice in any democratic country. Any person holding a position, and if he or she can no longer perform, it is only honourable that a person resign. And we see resignation all over the world in the democratic process. So we asked him to do the most honourable thing. Unfortunately, he treated that as an, a contempt or insult to him. And that he also then interpreted himself as parliament and therefore contempt of parliament. We hope, he says that our action, uh, we call reduce the prestige and the respect for parliament. I hold the view otherwise. For that reason, I have filed a motion but uh, if I found two motions, one motion, uh, page three, uh, under Rule 18 of the uh, parliamentary rules. Uh, in fact, today the speaker said, uh, the deputy speaker announcing the uh, decision of the speaker suspending three of us for ten days. He says that we should have found under. Rule 43. In fact, Rule 43 does not apply because our statement was issued outside the House. And uh, that's why I did not file it under Rule 43. If I can read to all of you what Rule 43 says. Rule 43 says, Tuan Yang Dipetua in the House or chairman in committee shall be responsible for the observance of the rules of order in the house and committee respectively. And his decision on any point of order shall not be open to appeal and shall not be reviewed by the house except upon a substantive motion moved for that purpose. Such a motion shall not require more than two days notice. So here talks about rules in the house. Here we have a media statement outside the house. The proper procedure he should have followed if he felt that we have defamed him, he should have uh, we call filed a defamation suit against us. Alternatively, he should have referred us to the privileged committee. As member of parliament, we are to behave properly. And if we misbehave, we should have referred, been referred to the privileged committee who will then conduct a hearing and ask us to answer. Unfortunately, our speaker does not follow the rule at all. He now today become the prosecutor, the judge, and refuse any right of hearing to the accused, the three of us. He now charges us or accuses us of something which, I mean, of, of, of contempt of parliament, which we think otherwise. In fact, what we did is to enhance the good name, the prestige, the respect, and the confidence of the people by allowing motions and question on 1MDB to be 
uh, us. So for that reason, I filed this first motion. Bahawa Majlis Mesyuarat Dewan Rakyat membenarkan usul dan soalan-soalan berkenaan dengan 1MDB dibentang dan ditanya kerana tindakan sedemikian akan menambah baik nama, prestige, keyakinan dan perhormatan rakyat terhadap Dewan Rakyat dan bukan sebaliknya. So I wonder how to debate on this. And uh, if the house says uh, my action is otherwise, then I agree that it can be dismissed. Unfortunately, uh, we received a letter uh, from the speaker uh, saying otherwise. In fact, there was another motion that I found. Uh, the second, uh, the fourth page, if I can read. That my, uh, there was another motion that uh, we, I asked the parliament to make a decision to ask him to withdraw the uh, threat to take serious action against us, severe action against us, if we refuse to apologize. My usul read, uh, read this way. Bahawa ugutang oleh yang dipetua untuk mengambil tindakan terhadap yang berhormat Datuk Ngai Kuhan Beras, Tuan Ngai Kuoming Kaiping, dan yang berhormat Tuan Wisi Bakuma Batu Gajah, kerana menuntut supaya usul dan soalan-soalan berkenaan dengan wang MDB dibenarkan untuk dibentangkan dalam Dewan Rakyat, hendaklah ditarik balik. Because of the warning to take against us, we ask it to be tarik balik. I ask, we ask the House to make a decision. Kesimpulan oleh mereka, bahawa sekiranya yang dipetua tidak membenarkan usul dan soalan-soalan berkenaan dengan skandal wang MDB dibentangkan atau ditanya di Dewan Rakyat, yang dipetua boleh dianggap menjadi sekutu untuk menuntut skandal rasuah merupakan satu kesimpulan yang munasabah yang akan dibuat oleh seorang rakyat biasa. By not allowing one MDB to be uh, discussed in uh, we call the Dewan Rakyat, any ordinary person can come to a conclusion that the speaker is helping to cover up the scandal. Uh, and uh, this can be a uh, Conclusion by any ordinary man, and we are also ordinary people representing ordinary men. The three of us also come to this decision or, or conclusion. Suruhan mereka agar yang dipetua meletak jawatan jika beliau enggan berbuat sedemikian merupakan satu kebe, uh, kebebasan bersuara yang dijamin di bawah perkara 10 Perlembagaan Persekutuan. Malaysia dan meletak jawatan merupakan satu amalan yang terhormat dalam sistem demokrasi Apabila mana-mana orang yang berjawatan tidak lagi boleh menjalankan tanggungjawab dan tugas secara sempurna. So uh, even we cannot give an opinion or uh, I mean it is ridiculous article 10 of the federal constitution give all the citizens every one of us the freedom to speech and opinion. Uh, unfortunately uh, with the two motion I filed this is the reply we got the first page. Uh, he says that my Uso to ask him to uh, withdraw his track is a threat to him. How can asking Parliament to make a decision be a threat to the Speaker? Uh, and uh, so, uh, and secondly, he says because of our accusation against him, uh, menjadi sekutu menuntut rasuah skandal. Ia merupakan tuduhan bahawa keputusan yang dipetua menolak usul dan pertanyaan berkenaan YMDB adalah satu pelanggaran kebebasan bersuara dalam perkara 10 Perlembagaan Persekutuan. Jurus, justrus itu, usul ini boleh ditafsir menghina yang dipetua sebagai pengurusi majlis mesyuarat dan juga satu perbuatan penyalahgunaan peraturan mesyuarat. Tindakan ini juga merupakan satu penghinaan kepada Dewan Yang Mulia yang telah mencemar nama baik kerana serta prestige Dewan Rakyat. He saying uh, our we call conclusion is a contempt of him and therefore a contempt of parliament. How can it be? I only filed two motion asking the parliament uh, to make a decision whether his decision is correct or not. I cannot use under rule 43 as I stated just now uh, because it is not make it's not a decision or ruling really made in the house. The most unfortunate thing is just now we saw was that as we were suspended, Barisan National MPs booed us, shouted at us to leave the house. So happy that the Speaker now is more powerful than the House. This is the unfortunate thing. This coming GE, we would like the people of Malaysia to decide if we want the Parliament 
to be under the absolute power, arbitrary power of a speaker, or the Dewan Rakyat should have the final say in all things. If the speaker made mistake, like just now, sub judice, also he probably doesn't want to respect the rule on sub judice. He doesn't uh, respect the rule or right to be heard. He should refer to the privilege committee. He doesn't want to refer. He wants to make a decision on his own, accuse and make decision on his own. If that is what we want, then we respect. But we like the people of Malaysia to decide. But I suppose and I I believe the people of Malaysia would like to ensure democracy system is fertile in Malaysia. The right to be heard must be there. Parliament, their voice must be supreme, uh, far above that of the speaker who make arbitrary these decisions. Okay?